US Open 2017. Everybody's working for the weekend. Everybody's working for the weekend. August 30, 2017. Venus Williams in action against Ocean Doden at the 2017 US Open. Photo by Usta slash Billy Vice. While the majority of the American populace figures to be sliding out of their jobs early today, hitting the road for the long Labor Day weekend, many of tennis top talents will be reporting to work at the Usta Billy Jean King National Tennis Center, looking to extend their employment into the weekend with a night towards securing a two week gig. The Day 5 workforce includes Venus Williams, Marin Silic, John Nisnor. Sam Quarry, Garbine Muguruza, Denis Shapovalov, Petra Kvitova and Maria Sharapova each looking to add the title 2017 US Open champion to their respective resumes. Two-time US Open champ Williams is making her 19th career appearance in Flushing, winning back-to-back -back titles here in 2000 and 2001. At 37, Williams is the oldest player in the women's draw, but the no. 9 seed is competing with a level of energy, intensity and focus that makes the calendar completely irrelevant, proving the wisdom of the great Satchel Paige, who once observed, age is a case of mind over matter if you don't mind, it doesn't matter. Williams has been a large force at the majors this year, reaching the final of both the Australian Open and Wimbledon, the latter marking her 16th appearance in a Grand Slam final. Her first round win here over Victoria Kuzmova was the 750th of her career, and through two rounds, she now owns a 73-15 lifetime mark at the Open, second best among active players, trailing only her younger sister Serena. Shia looked her better that mark today against Maria Sakkari of Greece, who's appearing in the third round of a major for the third time this year, reaching this same point at both the Australian Open and Wimbledon. Sakkari, 22, has already planted a seed in her advance, taking out no. 24 Kiki Burton's in the first round, but she'll need to dig a lot deeper if she's going to uproot Williams who beat the Greek in their only career meeting, a second-round encounter at Wimbledon in 2016. The seven-time Grand Slam singles champion may give up 15 years to her opponent, but that figures to be about all she'll surrender. In two, Williams is on to round four. Three-seed Muguruza is riding a seven-match win streak through the first two rounds here coming to New York after winning the US Open Series stop in Cincinnati. The 23-year-old Spaniard captured her second career slam crown this year, adding a Wimbledon title to her 2016 triumph at Roland Garros. By defeating Venus Williams in the All England final, she became the first player to notch wins over both Williams sisters in Grand Slam finals having taken down Serena Williams for the French crown. Incredibly, this third round showing represents Muguruza's best ever US Open performance, in four prior tries, she's never been beyond round two. The Spaniard will today try to better her best career open showing against Magdalena Rybarkova of Slovakia. 31 seed posted her own best slam showing in July, rolling across the lawns of London before getting mowed down by Muguruza in the semis. Rybarakova, 28, has twice before reached the third round here but has lost in Flushing's first round in each of her last three appearances. Including this summer's grapple on the grass, the two women have met four times with Muguruza holding a 3-1 edge. While Muguruza no doubt has her sights set on driving deeper in the draw, 
she be smart not to look past Tri Barakova, whose game translates well on Flushing's hard floors. It's doubtful she will, since you don't win majors without major focus. In a tight two, the Spaniard advances. August 28, 2017. Denis Shapovalov of an action against Daniel Medvedev at the 2017 US Open. Photo by, Usta slash Darren Carroll. 10 seed Disner is into the third round here for the ninth consecutive year and the tenth time in the last 11. Unfortunately for the American, his previous attempts to drive much deeper here have always stalled. Despite his huge serve and lethal ground game, Isner has been as far as the quarters just once in 2011 and that represents the best major performance of his career. The top-ranked American at No. 15, Isner this summer won back-to-back -back events at Newport and Atlanta and, not surprisingly, leads all men in aces to this point in the tournament, blasting 52 through two rounds. Today, Isner takes on the number 23 seed, Misha Zverev, who's into the third round here for the first time in his career. A quarter-finalist at the Aussie Open earlier this year, the German didn't figure to be the Zverev who advanced farthest in this year's men's draw, but with younger brother Alexander Alsted in a second round upset. It's now up to the senior sibling to represent the family name as the space between the lines gets wider. 27, is fresh off a five-set marathon win over Benoit Pair in round two, so exactly how fresh he'll be here remains to be seen. The two men have split their four career meetings, with Zverev winning the last two including a second round win in Melbourne in January. This should be a good one, a high-caliber showdown between two men who know how to pack a punch. In five, Isner scores the knockout to advance. One of the most entertaining players in the game today, Canadian Chapu Valov is the real deal, a hard-hitting, fiercely competitive talent who wears his hat backward and figures to push Canada forward on tennis global stage. The 18-year-old who played his way through qualifying here to get into his first career major main draw, announced his presence with authority north of the border earlier this summer, beating Juan Martin Del Potro and Rafael Nadal back-to-back -back in reaching the final of Toronto. Chapeau Valif has already taken out a seat in his advance to this point, icing number 8 Joe Wilfried Tsonga under the lights of Arthur Ashe Stadium in round 2. Today, the Canadian goes up against Great Britain's Kyle Edman, who beat Isner here last year in his US Open debut to reach the fourth round, representing his deepest advance at the slam. Edmund, 22, has put together a solid summer, reaching the semi-finals at both Atlanta and Winston-Salem. 42. The Brit is himself a fine talent but doesn't own the attacking ability or the array of weapons that the Canadian possesses. The two have split a pair of career meetings, but after displaying a lethal cool on the sport's biggest stage Wednesday night, Chapeau Valov would seem to have the edge in both talent and temperament here. In 3, he's on to round 4. <laughs> 